What's going on everybody? So today we're gonna to be working on the ABS relocation kit for the RSX as well as we'll work for the EP3. So what the kit allows you to do is to put your ABS system on the windshield cowl. It removes it from the stock location. So I'm gonna be breaking down the kit um, that you'll be getting once you order one. Uh, so you're gonna be getting four bags just like this. So you're gonna get one. It's gonna be the passenger brake line, driver brake line, brake booster brake lines, and the rear brake lines. I'm gonna explain each one of them and how to put it into the ABS uh, pump. So the first one we're gonna be getting onto is gonna be the passenger brake line, and that's gonna be the one from here. So that one's gonna come into its own little bag, and you're gonna come on and you're gonna put it here, just like that. Okay, then we're gonna move to your driver brake line. The driver brake line is gonna be the one right here. Give you right over here all right so now we're gonna move to your brake booster brake lines and those are gonna come into that bag and it's gonna be right over here these two are gonna be for your brake booster so if you can see follow up that will connect to your brake booster and the very last one is gonna be for your proportional valve on the stock rsx it's gonna be this two right here i'm gonna follow them up Come to those fittings right there and into that so there you go it's pretty easy and let me show you real quick for the rear brake lines for the proportional valve that go right into that uh, later on the video you will see how to put everything together but that is for the kit that is pretty much how you put it together um, there comes fittings on here that you will have to put on first so give it one second i'll remove it There you go. So it's gonna be a flat side. The flat side will go into the um, ABS pump. And there's like another little pointy side. Let me see if I can get it out. There you go. You can see it. So pretty much you go in here. And put it on just like that. There you go guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it on the car, the ABS pump. So the way I did this, I went and made the hole, of course, and then I insert the fitting with the line because uh, it turned out to be, if I did it without the line, it was really difficult after to put the line on the fitting. And let me show you what I'm talking about. And as you can see, it's super, super tight to come after and put the line, oh, sorry, onto the fitting because it sits super, super nice and tight. So my recommendation is go ahead and tighten the, uh, the line onto the fitting, come on and slide the fitting through the hole. And after use the little uh, nut and go ahead and tighten it all the way through, just like you would like right here, just like that. Sorry, I'm doing it one hand, but you get the point. You're gonna go ahead and slide it all the way through and then tighten it with a 13 millimeter socket just like that and then after you come with your passenger brake line and go ahead and tighten it all the way and now we're gonna go ahead and work for the uh, driver's side it's kind of the same way you make the hole and it's gonna be the one right here if you remember this one so I already know the line comes all the way over there it's the one right here and you're gonna make the hole right in this little spot right here just like that let me show you a little better you're gonna feel a little little lump right here it's gonna be the one right here in the little spot you're gonna go ahead and do the same way to the other side and let me show you what i mean by that so you're gonna make the hole and then you're gonna put the line just like this so you make the hole pass it through come with the if I let me sit still for a second and you're gonna come through and just like you would the other side and put the nut on and then come with the line of course 
put it on there and the line will follow just like this like the other side nice and tight and then go down to your brake uh, stock brake line just like it would on this side just like that all right super simple to install that one um and the way i'm making the holes i'm using this thing i bought at harbor freight so be really careful not to make the holes too big and this is the one i'm using right here you can buy this at harbor freight for about 10 bucks um and this is what i mean don't make them too big because you can see the ones for this side they fit right on perfect focus there you go so you can see nice and flush no issues all right so now that you know the driver's side and the driver's side jesus christ driver's side and passenger side you already know which line is going to go to what we're going to go work on the proportion of valve the one i was talking to you guys about earlier that one right here so this line right here will go to the front of the proportion of valve this thing jesus focus the one right here it's gonna go to the front of the valve right there and the one right here will go to the back of the valve i already know which line will go to what just make sure you get the right one and uh the one right here for the back for me, at least you can switch them over if you like, it don't matter. Uh, we'll go to the front of the portion of valve. And this is the lines that I have here. I already went ahead and made the holes. It's gonna be a little uh, hole right here. You gotta have to make them right in uh, perfect into this little, I don't know how to explain it, like little lump. So you can see, I'll take this off here, guys. You can see, just like this, it goes down. You're gonna make both of the holes right here. And then, So once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and use the nuts, come around it and tighten it, and then use that 13 millimeter uh, for both and tighten it really good. And then uh, we're gonna use the brake lines that I guys I was telling you from earlier. The one that's down there. So as you can see, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and put, you're gonna tighten that to this like you would like this but to the bottom and then this line all right so there you go that line will go to the front so one of the tips i recommend because these lines are just a little bit too long uh you're gonna have the valve right over here in this location right here uh if you can run the lines behind uh the power steering rack that way the lines don't show as much so you can bring them through here behind i think focus jeez bring them behind and then of course, you're gonna go ahead and bolt them up to the spot right here. Let me see if I can show you guys. Oh boy, there we go. Oh, it's not working. So, let me see. All right, so it's not working. It's not letting me, my camera, my phone camera is not picking it up. You can see a little bit right there. So, my tip is run this uh, line right here. Once you put them into the brake, um, the proportion of valve the one you have right here you're gonna have the line right there so go ahead and put the fitting onto the proportion of valve the one with the flat side and then the other side make sure you tighten it real well um and that's gonna be for both of these right here both of these lines all right so now we're gonna move forward into the um brake booster lines and the front brake uh the brake booster lines are gonna be this two right here so, all right, so this is gonna be for the front of the brake booster. And what I mean by that is the one right here. And the other line's gonna go for the back of the uh, brake booster. So let me show you guys real quick. It's gonna be for the front of the brake booster, like I just said, and this is gonna be for the back. So I went and followed the lines through, follow the lines through, brought them here, made the hole like I did to the other spots. So you can see, just right here, there's gonna be a little hole, you can see right here, so you guys can see better. And I made them right into those little spots. And give you guys, there you go. And then you're gonna come on and use the fitting that will come into this line right here. Uh, fitting similar, well, same as this. You're gonna put the flat side 
going into the brake booster and the pony side coming out coming into the line so there you go and one to the back so that's pretty much the only thing you're gonna see from the brake uh abs or location kit everything else is gonna be nice and tucked away on the windshield cow if you do have um of course if you still have uh, wipers just be uh careful when running the lines because I do not have uh, windshield wipers on my car anymore. I went and took all that stuff out of here. So when you do run the lines, um, I know many people have run them through behind this little bracket right here. That way you have a lot of room for the, the lines not to be touching none of the wiper stuff. So there you go, guys. Uh, the kit is, I think it's pretty straightforward installing it. Not too hard. Uh, if you have to rewatch the video, um, I recommend it so you guys take a good note uh, where all the lines will go. Try not to mix any of the lines that go through here. Like don't put the front line in the back of the brake booster because this is for the front, this is for the back. So don't switch lines and be messing things up because that will cause situations with your brake system. So as you can see, let me show you. The windshield cowl does fit perfect. And you don't see any of the lines so the last very last thing, uh, thing you will have to do you're gonna have to extend uh, the wiring system from here to the brake booster so your um, ABS system still works so you have no issues so um, I've seen a few people make little holes into right here and uh, and run it through and connect it to your ABS system into right there so do note uh use the same uh wiring gauge uh for when you extend the wires don't use anything thin uh too thin it's better to use something uh more uh thick than something too little because that will make uh wires hot later on when you are driving your car you don't want to have no fire or any sort of uh any sort of mistakes that can cause your car to get on fire so be really careful when you do extend the wires like I said, uh, if you can, use thicker wire than the one previously. But if you already have the same wire, go ahead and use that. But uh, there you go, guys. And there you go. There you go, guys. So you can see. This is what I was meaning. Those are the only two lines you will be seeing. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, please ask. Leave in the comments. As always, you can contact me through my Instagram right there.